So you might be in a situation where for some reason your control center is not, is not showing up inside of your iPhone. Now, this is a complicated thing because if you're swiping down like I just swiped down right now, that may mean that there's some weird glitch going on, but usually you just want to keep trying over and over again to try to get that control center to pop up. Now, if your iPhone is in this way, like if it's in like you know portrait mode, like the, how it is right now, you have to swipe down from the top right. However, if you're swiping down from the iPhone when it's like changed like this, you have to remember that you have to swipe down from the top right as well. So you can't just swipe down from the top side here. You have to swipe down from the top side of the right, you know, basically the top right corner, whichever way your iPhone is kind of, you know, landscaped or portrait mode. Now, there can be some times where you have to enable a certain toggle within your iPhone settings. It's very rare. Pe you know, people don't really change the setting at all, but it is a way to go and fix this. You want to make your way over to your settings application, just like this. You want to swipe down until you see control center. So you'll see control center right here. You want to tap on control center and you'll come into this page again. Now this little panel right here where it says swipe down from the top right edge to open control center and this little ax like allow access to control center within apps, you want to make sure this is enabled. If this is disabled, that means if you're inside of an application like this and you swipe down from the top right, you'll see that you'll, you won't be able to access the control center like this. You have to swipe down then swipe down again. So that is basically that. If you want to make sure you have access to the control center within a majority of applications, just go ahead and this is you know turned on. Then you can go and make your way over to your control center like this. So that's another way you can kind of get that working as well. If it's still not working, you can try restarting your iPhone, updating your iPhone as well. But those are pretty much the main ways to go and fix this problem. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.